ഇംപ്ലാന്റഡ് ഓട്ടോമാറ്റഡ് കാർഡിയോവേറ്റർ ഡീഫെർബിലേറ്റർ ഇംപ്ലാന്റഡ് ഓട്ടോമാറ്റഡ് കാർഡിയോവേറ്റർ ഡീഫെർബിലേറ്റർ ഷുഡ് ബി റിഗാർഡ് എസ് സ്റ്റിൽ ആക്റ്റീവ് വെൻ എൻകൗണ്ടർഡ് ഇൻ ദ ബോഡി ബിക്കോസ് ദ ആർ ഡെസിഗ്നേറ്റഡ് ടു പ്രൊവൈഡ് ഷോക്സ് ടു ഹെൽപ്പ് എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ് എ നോർമൽ ഹാർട്ട് റിതം ദ ഓൾസോ പ്രൊവൈഡ് എ ഷോക്ക് ട്വൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് ടു ഫോർട്ടി ജൂൾസ് വെൻ മാനിപ്പുലേറ്റർ ഓർ ബെൻ ദ ലീഡ്സ് ആർ കട്ട് ഫോർച്ചുനേറ്റ്ലി ദ ക്യാൻ ബി ഡിയാക്ടിവേറ്റഡ് ബിഫോർ ദ ആർ റിമൂവ് ഫ്രം എ ബോഡി എ ലിസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് കോമൺ മാനുഫാക്ചേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് automated cardio of defibrillators and their telephone numbers has been established many times automated cardio fibrillator factor representative able to physically visit the morgue and deactivate the acd although there were difference between manufacturer some acd can be deactivated by placing a large magnet over the device and listening for chirping or other sound this instruction may be given by the factor representative over the phone regardlessly it is recommended a factor representative be consulted for appropriate handling of the device that is implanted automated cardiovascular defibrillator that is electrical concerns in the laboratory autopsy so exposure of bare wires in the code of electrical autopsy is a serious concern the outer per- per- protective rubber coating may be inadvertently cut by the blade of the so electrical outlet should be installed with a ground fault current interrupters chemicals most common irritating chemical that may be exposed to the morgue is formaldehyde which can be irritating to the skin eyes and mucus membrane it has been stated that ability to smell formaldehyde generally means that a person is breathing a concentration that exceeds the recommended occupation standard radiation autopsy personnel may be exposed to radiation from different sources including x-rays and radioactive material that are particularly placed in a body medical examiner should be notified if a body contains either diagnostic or therapeutic source of radiation and a decision should be made to whether or not not an autopsy need to be performed in the scenario which is bodily radioactive materials are a concern a safe radiation safety expert may be consulted to evaluate the risk of radiation exposure to uh, faculty staff facility design i believe autopsy facilities should be physically separated from administrative office and have a separate air supply autopsy room should have a minimum 12 wire exchange per hour should have a negative pressure in relation to the surrounding area the air should be exhausted directly outside the facility take appropriate precaution to minimize the work hazard and optimize the autopsy room work protection protection be familiar with the safe 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 practices take advantage of the hepatitis b vaccine in consultation with your physician have regular tuberculin skin test unless you are known to the positive or reactive seek medical attention should an exposure occur don't be careless reckless in your procedure thank you